want to do a quick overview of some of the stuff that we've covered before we got into the twos complement and before we started trying to subtract the hex numbers. Uh, so I'm going to come back to doing the hex numbers. I'm going to do a lot more examples just so that you get really familiar with it and you'll do good on your test. But uh, as far as just reiterating stuff, what I'm going to do, and I, I noticed that there's like this droning sound uh, that has like a, it's, it sounds like a hum when I was watching through the videos, so I got to figure out how to get rid of that. I'm sorry about that for right now, but uh, just bear with me through these videos and I'll try to make this one real clear and concise. So uh, we had a byte size and that was the storage size when we think about our computer storage as a block or segment of memory that was the one that had eight chunks in it so eight bits so a byte is eight bits and it's also two hex if we want to consider this is one hex digit and this is one hex digit All right so a word size was next so that was twice of a byte so a word is 16 bits which is also how many hex? 4 hex. So the way I remember that a word is 4 hex digits, so you had FFAD. How do I know that that's a word size? Because it's like the same amount of numbers as just word, <laughs> right? Okay, so D word was after that, and D word is double word, which means 32 bits or 8 hex. So in the assembly language or just in computer programming in general we have our storage space and each like block that we would think about like each block has its address and those are typically given in D word sizes. So we have like A, B, C, A, F, C, D, uh, you know, one, something like that. All right, so just that the D word size, the 32-bit address size is what we use to identify any particular uh, chunk of memory. All right, so now that we've done that, I'm just going to uh, reiterate some stuff about byte size. So byte you can think about that as having eight placeholders. All right, the first one down here is the two to the zero slot. So we can either yes have something there, or we can no not have something there. All right, and that goes for any of these. So this two to the first, two squared, two to the third, two to the fourth, two to the fifth. 2 to the 6th and 2 to the 7th. So whenever we think about having 8 places or 8 bits that means that the highest order of 2 is the 7th order. So what's the largest number I'm going to ask you that can fit inside of a byte? So pause the video and think about what's the largest number that fits in a bite-sized container. Alright, I'm assuming that you paused the video, so I'm going to answer it now. Well, what we can think about is what if we had all these filled up with yeses? So yes, 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 and yes. So yes, I have 2 to the 7th, plus yes, I have 2 to the 6th, plus 2 to the 5th, 4th, 3rd, 2 to the squared, and 2 to the 1st, plus 2 to the zero. What is that going to equal? Well, the way I would do this is I would consider what if I were to add one to this? If I added one here, it would carry over and carry over and carry over and carry over, carry over, carry over, carry over, carry over all the way to this place, right? So we'd end up with the same thing as 2 to the 8th. 
Alright, so what if I just thought about what if I had 2 to the 8th and I subtracted 1? I would get this series of 1's that we started out with. So that's what I'm going to do. 2 to the 8th minus 1 is equal to 256 base 10 minus 1 equals 255. That's how I think about this this question about what's the largest number that fits. So let me just go ahead and do one more example of this and I'm going to jump to a D word size. So skipping word but let me ask you one question about word. How many bits are in a word? Right? Okay, two to the what would be the largest power? So if I had word, it would go all the way down, starting at 2 to the 0, and come up to what? So think about that real quick, and I'll give you the answer. Okay, so if you recall from like two slides ago, 16 bits is word size. And so the largest power here would be 2 to the 15. Alright, but like I said, I'm going to skip that. And what we're going to do now is we're going to just go ahead and think about D word. This is the one that really counts. If you know, well, you're going to have to know all of them, but D word is for the registers. And so. I'm going to write out all the little blocks because that's literally how I think about it every time. So how many blocks are going to be here? There's going to be 32 because a D word is 32 bit size. So that means I have 8 segments of 4 blocks. So far I only have 6. Alright, 7, 8. Now, the lowest one would be 2 to the 0 power, and then that would continue all the way up to what is the highest one. Well, since I had a D word size is 32 bits, but one of these bits represents 2 to the 0, the highest one that's available is 2 to the 31st, which is an extraordinarily large number, as we will see. So let's think about how large is that number. Well, what's the largest number that fits inside of a D, inside of a D word if we had all of these filled up? The largest number would be 2 to the 32nd minus 1. Alright, so I'll get the calculator. 2 to the power of 32 is 4 billion 294 million. 967,296. Alright, so the largest number possible as an unsigned representation is this number minus 1, which is 429-496-7295. Alright, so that should show you just basically how how much of uh, how much well, we could we could represent technically that many addresses if we needed to, but we don't have enough capacity inside of our computers nowadays to do something like that. So that's a good overview. Like I said, I'm going to come back and do some more problems with the two's complement subtraction.